Hey, good evening and welcome. We're live from London for another MySpace live web chat. And uh, we have possibly the most uh, outrageous and unpredictable rock band on the planet in this room. Um, they're here in the UK, they've just flown in. They're a bit jet lagged, so give them a chance. Uh, they've just flown in uh, for uh, some gigs. They're playing in Newcastle tomorrow, uh, Brixton on Friday, and Sheffield on Saturday. So Thanks. feel the steel. Let me give you the one and only Steel Panther. What's up, man? How you doing, everybody? Welcome to the heavy metalist, heavy metal internet heavy oh! metal ever. They said there's going to be a big crowd here. Yeah, there is. <laughs> there is. There is. They're all out there, mate. They're in there. I'm saying oh, hi. Right. What's up? What's up? How are you feeling tonight? What's going on? Is it crowd? We don't really actually know what time of day it is or what time of night it is because we are completely in a void of heavy metal uh, delusion. Vacuum. Yeah, it's killer. Yeah, we're in a vacuum. Like we flew, right? We flew all the way over here and we had a... In an airplane. Yep, we had a layover on a cruise ship, hung out there for a while and then took a helicopter off the cruise ship, came here. We've been up for about 30 hours straight. That's what... Okay. Never mind. Well, they're here to answer your questions. So um, let's crack on with a question from Lucy. And Lucy, do you want to see Lucy's picture? Look at Lucy's picture. She's there with a little dog or cat. I can't tell. Wow. Uh, Lucy's actually kind of smoking hot. You know what's funny though? You don't want to um, name. You don't want to date a girl named Lucy. Get Why? Because Lucy. She'll be loose. Lucy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, probably. I would want to date a girl named Tidy. <laughs> Uh, well, Lucy asks, uh, she says she's coming to your shows in London and Sheffield, so would like to know what you're coming to. You're coming to, both to both shows? She's That's amazing. Thank they're you quite far apart. You know what? I'm so glad that your dad let you use your, his credit card to buy tickets to come see us because you're going to get your vagina rocked. <laughs> we can say that word. We, we asked. Yep, vagina. Rocked? I don't yes. think we can stop Credit that. card. Anyway, she says, what qualities would you look for in a groupie and, and what a would-be groupie needs to do to get that backstage pass? Not be Lucy. <laughs> I would just say uh, you'd pretty much be, will have, you know, be willing to have to do anything. Well, the qualities that I look for in a woman, a woman when you know, I'm... A groupie. A groupie or a woman or just any type of sexual being. Yeah, that is when your group... Well, sometimes those groupies aren't always women, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, but you know what? I, go all the way. Yeah, what I look what I look for is someone that's willing to be totally hot, dressed totally killer, wear totally awesome bitch in heavy metal clothes, love Motley Crue, Van Halen, Scorpions, Steel Panther, and party like constantly, not have a job. And Usually, Michael looks for girls that are a little bit younger than he is. Like I, he was. I saw him with a groupie that was like half his age. Like last week, was she like 30 or something? Yeah, yeah. she looked like 35. Yeah. It's not a big deal. I've been with chicks half my age since I was 20. So it's just something that we do. <laughs> and, we, and we, you know. Dude, I, dude. That's creepy. You that's should creepy. not. This, that's 10. <clears throat> that's 10. But if you, well, whatever. If you want to get noticed, Lucy, just come and show your boobs to the band. That's the best well, way to do it. Well, she can't come unless she gets backstage and then we can. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's all good. High five line. You guys waving. <laughs> oh, you were, you were going to high five yeah. I thought you were waving at somebody over there because no. there's a lot of people in the room. So. No. Hey! Hey, Lucy, we love you. We're so glad you're coming to the show. I hope you enjoy it. And if you don't like it, you just leave. And remember, Lucy also rhymes with juicy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and juicy <laughs> also rhymes with bitchin'. And bitchin' also rhymes with kitchen. Kitchen doesn't really rhyme much. Yep. <laughs> and kitchen rhymes with itchin', if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, because then you'll be itchin' and bitchin' yep. about your itchin'. the herpes that we might give you. Right. And then that rhymes with pitchin'. If you're playing baseball. For baseball players, pitch. Or cricket. And if you're a bass player, you're pitching and catching, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I was in I was High five. In, no, I was in jail. That's not cool. Next question. <laughs> Next question. Lucy, we love this you. This one's from Matt. Uh, and he says, do you guys ever give, do you ever give guys backstage passes? Guys, I do. I, I do if they have drugs. Anyone else? I Personally, I've, I've never seen a guy backstage. So I, I don't, I, I've never <laughs> handed up. I mean, we, I tr we train our security guards to let women on the stage. I, there's been a couple times when guys have jumped on stage and they've usually been pummeled by yeah. the security and we don't end up seeing them. And usually our lawyers handle lawsuits, you know, because there's usually pro broken arms and stuff like that. But we it's not that we don't like guys. Yeah, guys. I did it. I did it once. I appreciate the fans. Guys are awesome. I just don't want... 
to have to talk to them or you know I mean I'm totally down if guys come to their shows as long as they bring their girlfriends with yeah. and stuff it's and like then, when you get invited to a party and you walk in and it's all guys that's not a fun party dude don't come to my party unless you're bringing your chick dude. Yeah. and your chick better bring some other chicks too dude. Yeah. and your and chick better be hot yeah. I did it once but I thought it was a girl right but what? yeah, you know, guys can no, get, really? answer your yeah. question. Yes, we do give guys backstage passes occasionally if they've got like a bunch of stuff girls that's cool. and cocaine with them. You know, that's as right. simple as that. That's nice. We've got a question from the live chat. This is Lil Worm 33 He asks, what's the greatest moment in your entire rock lives? Right now. Being on my Talking to Little Worm 33. Dude, yeah. That's the greatest moment in my Dude. rock and roll life. Wow, what's up, Little Worm? <laughs> <laughs> Working his way to some chicks. A little bit at a time. <laughs> little Worm, I thought you were Little no, Worm. No, that's an Indian name that my father gave my brother. <laughs> little Big Worm? No. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everyone, let's make, make some noise for Will and Tom, the MC of the show tonight. Uh, a lot of people may not even see them, but these guys are the conduit to you on the internet, conduiting your questions through them to I'm us really? and bringing us to you through them, through things that are going. Dude, like this virtual like world. We're right. here and you're virtually over there. Right. Well, who, are you, who are you guys talking to? I these people are here. My Indian name was Niels with mouth open. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> That's funny. I don't think any of these, nobody's watching us right now. Bobbin for sausage. <laughs> oh, they are. Yeah, oh, they yeah. are. Are they? Um, let's have another question from uh, the blog. This is uh, Big M. All right, Big M. Big, Big M. M. Begin. Begin. <laughs> if all of you added up how many girls you have been intimate, and he does that as well around being intimate with, how many would that be in total? Internet. Oh, if we added them oh, all internet. up? Mm. Well, internet? I'll tell you. The, Who's going to add them up? The guy who gets the most. I can't. The, I think Sticks probably gets the most, the most pussy. You, can you say that? Yeah, you can say vagina. Can I, can I say vagina? Yeah, you can yeah. say both those words. Pussy, 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 I'm sorry, about cats. Cool. Oh, so I, the, I get do your mind have, out of the gutter. I, I okay? have a lot of cats. <laughs> okay. I, yeah, I get the most cats out of he the does, band. He does, and he also gets the most pussy if you add it up by weight, all the, I, I would say. So, uh, sometimes when you go by <laughs> Styx's hotel room, if you walk by late at night, you can hear this sound, and you know Styx is having, is putting his, his it sounds like this. I'm not, I'm not ashamed of that either. I think Michael probably gets the most, the most girls if, you, if you're talking about like the age, if you added up the age of the average groupie that he sleeps with, it's probably, uh, he probably sleeps, I mean, you go for the most cougars. Yeah, but I don't, I don't just sleep with any girl. You know, I, I really filter who I'm going to be with after the show because it's important to me be able to wake up and be okay with myself in the morning. Really? And that is yeah. all based on how hot the chick is. Right. I mean, if she's hot, <laughs> gives a crap. You know what I mean? It's just a matter of, you know, you don't want, when you're on the road, we're road warriors, dude. We just traveled millions of miles to come here. Well, that wasn't really millions. I mean, that well, be... we came from a different galaxy. Yeah. Remember that time you did? You, I have to give you credit that time. You did, uh, you hooked up with that girl. She was a cover, cover of Playboy magazine. Yeah. And, and that was... He you felt you must have felt awesome about yourself that I, day. I felt good until she said she was on the cover in '72. It bummed me out. That's a, that's, that's but cute. still, you know, when you leave, I don't feel bad about myself because I know I can go. Hey, I was, I was with a Playboy chick exactly. last night, and the guy's like, "Wow, that's pretty bitching, dude. You rule." And I, I'm you, like, I know. You had a, a couple killer-looking models Thank too. You. What was that? What yeah. guy's name was Tim? Was, what was his name? No, Danny. It was, it was Danny. 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 Danny Redrick, he's no, the he was, he was cute. The only time I was I had relationships with 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 a guy, I was forced to have. Danny forced himself on you? No, it was. So it was consensual. Jerome did in jail. Uh, you were a conduit. <laughs> You're a conduit I to I Jerome's wish, sexual pleasures. I wish he had. I wish he had. I wish he had a condom. He did not. Ooh. Exactly. Next question, please. Next question, Sean, uh, that's a girl, asks who has the best stamina in bed. Oh, that would have to be Easy sticks. Me. I can go. What's your I, secret? Uh, I eat a lot of fruit. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, yeah. I find that like mango and the fiber in the mango and the pineapple. But you know I, that you know what you don't know is pineapple has a lot of uh, nitrous oxide in it. 
Really? Yeah. That's I, really I, good. I, is that why I go so fast? I'm gonna go Dude, I just hit my nitro booster. Yeah. I'm gonna go I know it sounds silly, but it's true. I'm gonna go inhale a pineapple. So if you want a, if you want a, you know, a quick, quick fix, you come to Michael. If you yeah. want a fucking, if you want a long, slow ride, you know, you call me. If yeah, you want a, a long, slender, kind of flimsy ride, well, talk to Lexi. I've actually seen Sticks cut a hole in a pineapple, and then he'll just go to town on a pineapple, which is... <laughs> and that's a mixture of nitrous oxide, citric acid, and Phos lac... And phosphoric... Uh, right. Yeah. You mix all that together, boy, you got yourself a scientist project. Wow. A, wow. a scientist, scientist project. A, not just a science project, but a scientist project. Yeah, not a science project. Why are you making fun of me, man? I'm not, dude. I yeah, think you a are. scientist project is awesome. Yeah. Well, <laughs> a scientist project doesn't necessarily have to be about science. It could be about, like, a scientist know, project could be carpeting the bathroom. Collecting stains. Right, that's what I'm saying. Some right. of Stitch's girls look like science projects. Because <laughs> 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 they're really funny looking. <laughs> At least I get girls. Yeah. Yeah. Guy getter. How about another question? <laughs> oh wait, wait. Let's talk about satchel stamina in bed. Okay. What about let's they talk about speed against all this. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about let's it. Let's talk about how you always get to come first. Let's call him Lightning McQueen. Oh, you sound bitter. <laughs> not bitter. <laughs> Trust me, it doesn't bother me. This is it, whoa, really you watching. seem really mad. I'm not you mad. Do. You sound a little you bit. You totally seem <laughs> pissed right now. No. Wow, look what you've started. Who asked that? Who asked that question? Well, the thing is, some, sometimes, honestly, yeah. you know, sometimes Michael and I, because we're the lead guitar player, lead singer, we get like one girl that's hot, and we'll and we'll bring her, you know, we'll just both bring her back to the hotel room. And we'll both end up like having having relations with her, and I usually end up getting out of there pretty quick, and he always has to give her a ride home. So. It works out well for me because you know I just. But it doesn't it work plus, out well for me because yeah. I got to listen to her talk about her stupid day job at right. Starbucks. And sometimes we we stay in pretty cheap hotels, so usually there's only like one towel, and I use the towel to clean up, and then. And then what do I have to do? He's got to use the bedspread. But if so. you noticed, I used a towel for a few weeks in a row, and look how good my hair looks. It doesn't look good today. I mean, it yeah. really. You'd be surprised, like all the gel you put in yours, you wouldn't even need it. Yeah. It really, really You should hang out with Satchel. You I'm going to totally, I'm going to totally take that. Yeah. One. Yeah. I'm going to tell my wife about that. You yeah. should. Yeah. Hey, well, what's your wife's number anyway? I got it. I'll give you that. <laughs> Sweet. Um, it is one for uh, Satchel, yeah? Because Justin's speculating that he might be Ben Stiller's brother. Really? Well, a lot of people say that. <laughs> ben Stiller. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, yeah, look at the look. Hey, actually, this, actually, uh, Satchel, uh, Will, Satchel's been working on his uh, new look that he's oh, yeah. been working on for stage. I just gave it to him. They, you already did? Yeah, you missed it. Oh, What's man. it called? It was, it was not got a name yet. Yeah, well, you know, it's called the Satchel. Oh, right? give him the look right there. Oh, is that That's the look the, right there? Okay. Ready? Unveil the look. Whoa. Yeah, yeah that's pretty that's awesome. That's my best Ben Stiller right there. <laughs> He's also working on some other new new uh, moves. Really? Yeah, like this That's one. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Here's his favorite move. Yeah! That means it's a good party. Yeah. Good <laughs> party. <laughs> Let's not talk about this. Um, yeah, uh, right, this is from My Blind Eye, so that must be a band. Uh, and they, they said, was Turn Out the Lights based on a real character, or do you guys just have really weird imaginations? Actually, All the songs are based on real life events. Everything, Actually, everything is based on real real events that have all happened. Most of the songs that are about, about <clears throat> ugly girls are usually about either one of his girls or the bass player's girls. Because yeah. me, me and the singer, we get... I mean, he's not trying to be... I'm not trying to be mean. It's not like that. It's just the reality... I'm not, a, I'm not offended. And no, they're not they, offended. They shouldn't be offended because the bottom line is you get... You, when you, you, There's a the totem lead, pole factor. The lead singer and the lead guitar player are going to get the hot chicks in any band. And that's just the way it is. Like, well, not any band. Well, but in bands... Like George Michael, he'd probably get the, he gets first the hottest hot, guys. Right, right, so... But you get, you know, we're like... Eddie Van Halen and David Lee Roth. Right. Right? Like, kind of like uh, Jimmy Page and Robert, Palm Robert Palmer. Or Kip Winger and whoever played lead guitar in Winger, you know? Um, or the two guys in Brokeback Mountain, that movie. That was don't, a great movie, you know, right? Don't be jealous, dude. <laughs> you might be like that. Yeah, those guys right. were gay. The bottom, line is, the bottom line is, I usually go for the chicks with low self-esteem and then are not that smart. Always. And then the girls that are like hot and smart and have some sort of self-esteem 
I pass them off to him because he likes to talk about politics with them and stuff. And the girls that have high self-esteem or low self-esteem and are just ugly, we just let those guys have them. So. Yeah. After the sound man and the roadie right. and the crew. Yeah, yeah. But, but that's that's cool because I, yeah, I, I, I know for sure right. that they are down to do it. Right. That's true. There's no guessing, you know, because sometimes for me it's hard and people don't understand how hard it is backstage. Hey, hey, dude, dude. I, I know this is this is getting weird for you right now. Just chill. <laughs> I don't. Right. The, this one will make you feel yeah. better. I've got I've got Laura on the live chat. She's saying Satchel and Lexi, will you spit roast? What? Ah, uh, yeah. You know, I think we I think I've heard this before from Laura. What is it? I think really? She's, she's, she may have tweeted about this. I, you know, and I, I will we what? I read some tweets now and then on on my mom's computer and uh, <laughs> the spit roast. I what don't is know that? Exactly what a spit roast what is. What is a spit roast? You don't have that it in the states. Sexy. It sounds sexy though, and I think it has to do with. As long as we don't, is the, is the penis spitting? I, I don't, I don't know. But <laughs> is she do you circling? Guys know what spit roast is? Have you seen? Have you seen when you go to a barbecue and they sometimes have a whole animal? Oh on, yeah, on yeah, a yeah, long yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there you go. Turned oh. around over the fire. Oh, so yeah. it's just. Oh, so yeah. oh, we was like a rotisserie chicken. Rotisserie chicken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, a, it's <laughs> that's not. What I it's not like it's not like a sex move, like a dirty Sanchez. No. Oh no, it is. It's but a it's sex based move, on the rotisserie. It's like this. Imagine, for instance, you have two corns yes. on the cob. Right. And you're holding right. one, and you put the corn on the cob in her mouth. Right. Right. And then all of a sudden, she happens to back up onto another corn on the cob, and she's got right. two corns on the cobs in there. Right. So bad. this girl wants to fuck me in Satch. Oh, I just said a bad Way word. Way to go, you know my space. You said a bad word. You broke no. my space. I said a bad word. <laughs> Laura, honestly, you can have these two. I'm, I'm totally down. I don't know if our bass player is going to be able to keep erection the entire time. He can't ever but do that. he'll do the best he can. You know why he can't? It's because he's very Chris, well we hung. Because we know which show Laura's going to be at. Michael. Yeah. Laura, what show are you going to be at, sweetheart? Tell us what show you're going to be at. She can't talk to you. It's a camera. She can't. She can't. Who's, um, who's she talking to? <coughs> She's on the live chat. She's talking oh, to you guys. Hey, type quicker. I'm okay if she can't talk because then I don't have to listen to her. Yeah, <laughs> after I'm done having sex with her, you know. Uh, yeah, she's That's not the worst. She's not the most talkative. You know what? Honestly, it's not that we don't care about what you have to say. It's just that yeah, we don't know. have the like the wherewithal to listen to you continue to talk. And it's just annoying. And it's, it doesn't come from a bad place. We love girls. I would love to give you the shocker. Yeah. Oh, we've heard about the shocker. Yeah, we wrote but a no song. No one would about tell it. me what it is. Oh. Well, it's pretty simple. It's uh, two in the pink and one in the stink. Yeah. That's called a shocker. Yep. Boop, boop. It's or like two, that. you could all, it's some like people like, like to refer to it reverse. as uh, two in the flaps, one in the craps. <laughs> I don't know if you can say it. Can you say that on my space? Yeah. Or They're not technically three in the words. stink. It's just put together yeah, right. in that order. That is pretty gross. quite gross. Yeah, it is. Or, it's or, it's so one. technically you're okay, I think. One in the front hole and one in the back hole. Yeah. It's not very creative though. Either way, there's a lot of things that you can do to entice different feelings and, and stuff that makes things that, you know, what you're trying to go for. And what, next question? Yeah. You're, yeah. You're, next it, question. Uh, the camaraderie just come right out. We've got someone on the live chat asking, what do you think of Lady Gaga as a fellow outrageous rock star? I, Lady Gaga. Yeah, I, I haven't heard When's her, the last time we ran into her? I have not Japan. Heard. She is Remember? very, very sexy. I would love to make sweet, sweet, sexy love to her. Yeah, I like to I like to be her. And I would even listen to her music if I got a chance to uh, <laughs> I, make, I, make love to her. I, I, I listen to it all the time. I you would know? love to p p poke her face. <laughs> <laughs> we went to, we met her in Japan. I like the paparazzi. I would, I would like to I would like to pop 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 her cherry. <laughs> um, she probably doesn't have one. She's probably here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Either way, Lady Gaga is, you know, she's going down this unique road that, you know, a bunch of other people did in the eighties. And it's it's cool, you know. I'm I'm really happy for it. I hope she does well and tur finally turns that corner from pop to heavy metal. Right. Well, and we will change her. We'll Eventually change. they all come back to heavy metal. You know yeah, I mean? right now she's on some do, sort of side road. I do, I do, I do, we're, we're both you guys sing songs. You seriously? Like a slow song with Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga is going to be, seriously, you're going to be seeing Lady Gaga in like, in like these pants. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Check these pants out. You like that? Uh, she's actually wearing is an it? outfit just like that in the latest video. See Facebook. what I'm saying? Yeah. She she saw us yeah. in these pants. Heavily based on those pants. And she went out and got 
these pants. We've, she we've, got, we've got, got a torrent of filth coming through the live chat. Um, I'll bring the filth on. Ravenface, I don't even know what this is going to say. Have you heard of the minivan? Two in the front, five in the back. Oh, Ravenface, mate, that's... I love wow. the minivan. No, the minivan. Man. I want to do the, the minivan. minivan. Two in the front, five in the back. Yeah. Wow. No man. So, so. That's solid. Two in the front, five in the back. Minivan. What is yeah. up? I can't I mean, believe do, you made me do say you that. Even have that many That's that. No, it's a passenger. That's this. Oh, it's right. a metaphor for. Let's recover with some with some uh, normal questions. Um, Lucas is asking, how did you get your name? That was so easy. Nice. We named it after. Really Actually, I was on vacation with my parents and Sticks' parents, and that's where Six and I met. Carpenteria Beach. Yep, and we actually came across, a, a, it's a panther that's gray, all gray. It's not black, it's gray. And it, More it, like it, silver. Exactly, and that's, and if the sunlight hits it just a I certain way. I came up with a name, and I just said Steel Panther. That's how we, that's how we <laughs> Um, Dude, I thought we talked about this crappy story. We talked about it's a this. good story. This is no, gonna be the story, story that we were gonna do. No, you guys. Can I fucking finish the story? Did you not say the f word on MySpace? You broke MySpace. You're embarrassing me. I did the same thing too. Give me a high five. So, anyways, when the sun hits it, it looks like chrome. That's where I came up with the name Steel Panther. Actually, it looks. Will like you turn steel. around and show them what it looks like? I yeah. I came up with the name. And Look, check the it bottom out. Bottom line is that. That's what it looks like. That's what a steel panther looks like. <laughs> wow, is that what a steel panther <laughs> looks like? He's <laughs> right in his face Man. right now. You like that, huh? Slap steel it at, slap it at shit. It looks like a tiny German Yeah, panther. that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, I didn't know steel panthers were so small. <laughs> we've got lots of questions coming in. Uh, M Revolver asks, any advice for unsigned bands? Wow. Get signed. Get <laughs> I, got, I got it. This it's is, way easier. This is great advice. This is like what your mom gives you. Ready? Honey. Go get a record deal, get a video on MTV, and then go to MySpace and do an online question answer thing. That's Just go how, do that. That's how you Great make advice. it. That's mom advice for bands. If you Thanks really want, if you want, if you're an unsigned band and you really want to get a record deal, do what we did. Never give up. Ever. Just keep going no matter what, no matter how old you get. Yep. Just get get plastic surgery, Botox, Juvederm, and keep rocking. Restylane. Don't worry about it, man. Dude, no, I don't know anybody, uh, seriously, at 57 years old, this guy right here can still get on stage and rock harder than some people that are still in their mid 40s. Thanks. After <laughs> having two hip replacements, I don't, know, I don't know how many facelifts he's had. His face could fall off at any minute. And a fake knee. He's got a fake he's knee. He's got a fake knee. Yeah, he's but you know what? So does Steven Tyler. And how many people think Steven Tyler is pretty bitching? I do. He really is. He is bitching. Right. So there you, you have bitchin'? it. Can you say bitching on so, MySpace? Yes, yeah, that does not sure. break MySpace. Steven. So if you're unsigned, man, don't give up. That's that's my advice to you. Nope. He never gave up, and look at where he's sitting right now. Look at me, I'm right he's here. sitting on the end of the couch. Talk, talk he never you. gave up. Look where he's at nope. right now. I went, we went to the studio. We recorded some of the best songs that we could find out there that other people had helped us wrote, and then we... What we did is we made a great record, and when he couldn't sing, we brought in great studios. Yeah, and that doesn't bother me, because you know what? It doesn't. Like, people like try to hide it. We're no. not hiding it, man, because no. you know what? If I can't perform to Wait the level minute. that I think You're I... You're not on our record? Just because our bass player couldn't, couldn't play on the record, it doesn't mean that we didn't, couldn't find a good bass player to play the tracks. Yeah, and it doesn't make any difference, because I took a, a really bitchin' looking picture. If what is you, that? My microphone, it fell off, and this looks cool. I look like an old game show host. <laughs> Bob Jones, you're the next contestant on The Price is Right! <laughs> Come all over my face. Hey, hey watch, watch. Um, Joker, 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 and a triple. Yeah, they don't get that out of here. What are you talking well. about, dude? Yeah, no, I don't think that's Next big question. Uh, this one's from Entertainment Focus. And they're asking, uh, is Girl from Oklahoma about Satchel's mum? <laughs> ah! No, no, it's my not. Mom is <laughs> Oh, <laughs> saint, and she. Even Your mom was a crack addict. Can we just? This is, there's a lot of people watching. Dude, this why movie. don't you be truthful? And maybe somebody out there may have the same deal going and on. Just like and you, you can blew help his them. whole story okay. about the the, My mom the is name not of the band. She's had her share of men, and like a lot of women. I'm and sure pipes. She, but mm -hmm. you know what? I'm sure that I've never seen her, but I'm sure that my my mom doesn't have acne on her vagina. She does. She I've does. seen it. Uh, yeah, I've seen it too. I don't, I don't want to talk about. You know okay, what this looks man. like? This looks like Satchel's penis. It's quite top heavy. Hmm. 
Yeah. Is it because it's black? Is that weird? What, <laughs> what was the question? Why? What was the question? You said, what was this? Oh, well, this girl from Oklahoma about Satchel's mum was the original question. Oh, yeah, it original que- no, no, it's it not. It was no, about a girl that we had sex with from Oklahoma. And her so name was? Her it. name was uh, Donna. 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 She Damn it. drove a Camaro. Yep, what color was the Camaro? Donna. It was blue. Donna. Blue. White. It was White. Blue. Yellow. Blue, blue, red. You guys red. are so stoked. Black. Silver. No. Pink. Nope. Charcoal. Nope. Green. <laughs> yes. It was, it was green. Bondo. At Bondo. Yeah. It oh, like, it was green. Right, remember? She yes. She her hair, and let me tell you, she... Donna was like... She was a 10 for Oklahoma. Yeah. I'm telling you. She was a 10. She... I mean, if like you're a, not... If you've never been to the United States, it's... Oklahoma is different. You rate girls different from Oklahoma. New York girls, you can find a lot of models. Right. Oklahoma, not Chicago. So like, Chicago's got a lot of like. Kind of like London, you go, you get a lot of models. Essex, really? Not so much, right? So yeah. You get like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. Yeah. You're Essex girls are like. Um, uh, there's a question from the blog. Josh asks, uh, just want to ask you boys, what you reckon you spent more money on back in the day? Okay. Booze, bimbos, drugs, or hairspray? Drugs. Drugs. Hairspray. Okay. You'd have to buy a lot of hairspray to... No, no we no. don't. Check it out, dude. It's very simple. You get you get strippers because you're in a band. You get them for free. They're right. all over the place. They're not always going to be the hottest ones, but there's always... But that's, that's called taking one for the team. Right. You're if, if he needs a place to sleep and hairspray... I'll bang a fat chick. The strippers are going to buy you hairspray. They're going to buy you, you know, sometimes you're going to be able to get free drugs. But I'll tell you what, you, if, you get, if you have any money at all, you're going to want to buy good drugs. Because some of the drugs you get from the strippers that are going to support you are not going to be so good. They're cut with laxatives. You're going to end up and pooping for two or three days straight. And you'll it's, never get enough free drugs. Uh, That's the problem. You could get some free drugs from some chicks, but it'll never be enough. By the way, we do not condone the use of drugs, kids, all right? Thanks. Just because we use them ourselves all the time doesn't mean we want you kids yeah. to go do it. Don't do if don't you, do drugs. Listen, if you have drugs and you're in your house right now and you have drugs, please take your drugs and send it to us. We will dispose of them properly and responsibly. <laughs> we don't want you you kids doing those things. Yeah, I mean you, you have to if you're gonna do do experiment with that stuff. If it's interfering with your life in any way whatsoever, it, you obviously have a problem with it, and you right. can't handle it, and you can't party like a man. So put it down and give it to us. We, it, but if you can handle it, then go. And as long as you're not hurting anybody, you're not killing any babies or any baby seals or anything that. Why? Uh, why? I kill baby seals all the time. Make clothes out of them. What are you talking about? Yeah, but not when. Not when you're not high. Not high. Drugs, right? Yeah. <laughs> Um, let's go to a question from Raz. All right, Raz. That's not his real it's name. It's not a name. Raz! What's <laughs> up, man? Are there any plans for a Steel Panther movie yet? What Ooh. about an appearance on well, Saturday Night Live? Ooh. Honestly, we've already done several movies, but they're all X-rated. X-rated with a lot of girls in them, and they don't have their clothes on. And not everybody is probably allowed to see those movies. Oh, we got we got the two minute call. We got two, two minute, minute call. You know two what? Two minute call. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna answer as many questions in two minutes Rapid as we can. Rapid fire questions. Go. Rapid fire. Let's do it. Go. Jesse B asks, Kat Von D or Megan Fox? Kat Von D. Kat Von D. Adam. Kat Von D. Kat Von D. Kat Von D. Adam Tipping asks, if you worked in a shop, how would you deal with an angry customer? Fire him. I'd punch him in the face. Flip him off and hit him in the nuts. Cut their penis off. Baby Jones asks, would you shag your dad to save your mum? Yes. Absolutely not. No. That's disgusting. I don't even know my mom. Nope. I would rather just live with the memory of my mother. I would Next question. Go. Shannon says, question for Lexi. How does it feel to be the sexiest in the band? Oh. Jesus, that was a joke question. <laughs> that was a joke That's a question. funny question. Next question. Next question. It feels awesome. Just for the record, One minute. It feels awesome. Um, One minute. Stereo board asks, lots of bands talk about driving Rolls Royces into swimming pools, throwing TVs out of uh, doors and what... Uh, you got to be faster, faster, faster. Faster, come on, come on, come on. Faster! You guys are raising the bar for this kind of stuff. What yes. is the most, and this might be one you just want to spend a few seconds thinking about, the most rock and roll thing you've ever done? We band. had sex with a bunch of people. Next question. <laughs> when, when was that? I wasn't there. Yeah, it was, it's a blanket. Boilerplate question answer. Oh, that, that happens, all, uh, happens all the time. Sticks. Yeah, sticks. Come on, dude. You should um, know that. We, um, we can actually go on a bit longer if you like, but I quite like this quick fire. Oh, go quick fire, fire, rapid. Get it. Nick Smith says, "Do you ever wish that you could go back in time, record an album of Scorpions hits, 
and then come back to now and sue them for plagiarism. Now that's wow. a great idea, it's mate. It's a great idea, but I don't ever wish I could do it. <laughs> that guy is doing some killer drugs. Yeah, he needs to send his drugs to us, because yeah. I don't know what he's doing. Plagiarism is when you get when you have sex with a girl and you're, it hurts when you go pee. Okay. Happens a lot at university. Yeah, you can get mm -hmm. antibiotics for plagiarism. Yeah. Uh, Gritar asks... Retard? Gritar. <laughs> Gritar <laughs> asks, what's the best pickup line of all time, apart from, hello, I'm the in, in, in Steel Panther? Are you kidding me? That's my pickup line. Uh, uh, apart from that. Apart oh. from, I'm the, you know, okay. racist or whatever in Steel Panther. Shut up, I am. My, my pickup line is, hey, you want to go do it? I think I think you know what if you're if you're short haired dude and you and you really don't have anything else try this one. Oh God, I lost my number. Can I have yours? Oh, my, God. Mine is mine is. Um, I will cut your neck wide open. Shut, if you, that's a, shut up. You can't say that. That's the best the best pickup line for a girl is just look her right in the eye. Say, look, I'm really interested in you and I like you a lot and you're really cute. You want to suck my dick? You can't say dick. You just broke dick. my space again. I or did. Or you could say, you know what, I. I'm so, I, I don't know how to tell you this, I, I, I think you're cute, but usually things don't work out with me and girls because my, my penis is just too big and they usually That works every and time and because they're curious. Well, sometimes girls, you don't even well, need a pickup line, you just put a little tiny pill in there, drinks with it. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, rapid fire. Oh, rapid, fire, fire rapid fire, rapid fire, rapid okay. fire. Sam asks, who has the worst habits on tour? Oh. oh. Well, there's one <laughs> rule on the road. What? Never poop in the tour bus toilet, okay? Ooh. Sticks! God! One time, and I never live it down. One What's time. What's the smell? Plastic bag out the window? Or? How do you know about yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, you know. it's called a bus bomb. Yeah, it's called a bus bomb. <laughs> we aim for uh, minivans so, with kids in it. <laughs> two minivans and two passengers <laughs> in the front. Just kidding, we never do stuff like that. Just kidding. <laughs> 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 Rob Reiner fan club. Wow. So asks, are you Anvil fans? <laughs> we are we fans. Anvil. Anvil's amazing. Well, we are Anvil. fanvils. Yes, we wow. are. You know what? I mean, is is Anvil heavy metal? Yes. Yes. Is uh, yeah. Van Halen heavy metal? Yes. yes. Is, is Anvil the epitome of never give up on heavy metal? Yes. Yes. They are. So yeah, we like them. Dude, those guys are inspiring old ugly dudes everywhere. Yeah, think about it. If you're ugly and you're old and you're still trying to make it in a band, there you go, they're okay. doing it. Look no further than Anvil. That's right. And let me tell you something, they, may, they still make great cafeteria food, those guys. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. yeah. <laughs> true. Yeah, Evil Inc. asks, if they made a Steel Panther porno movie with an animal only cast, what animals would play each of you and why? I'd be a horse. You'd be a horse? I'd be an eagle. An eagle? Mm-hmm. So I could just fly around and tap it and then fly around and tap it there and fly around Great. and tap it. I'd be a big boa constrictor. <laughs> the they move fast. Yeah, what would you be, Lexi? I'd be a reindeer. Why? I swear to God, this stuff is just peaking right now. <laughs> Dude, no. I know, whatever we took right and we got that plan, it is on. Why would you be a reindeer, Lexi? I'm just curious. Because he likes Christmas. <laughs> because I've got a Yule log, right? <laughs> yeah. um, James A asks, if you guys didn't exist, what do you think would be the most awesome band on the planet right now? Well, if we didn't exist, Airborne. If we didn't exist, who would think? If we didn't, if we. If we didn't exist, we wouldn't think. That was a trick question. That's a trick question. You try to trick us. No, that's a really good answer. answer. All right, I know what they're asking. They're wondering if we weren't around, who would be the the a band that we would follow? But we wouldn't. Current be. a current band? Oh, yeah. That's yeah. A good I I don't know, dude. When when it comes to heavy metal, dude, I'm I'm old school. Any is there any keeping the flame alive nowadays that you've got a lot of respect for? Bands? Yeah. God, we just got asked this question somewhere else, didn't we? Gosh, but this is an original hey, you know what? question. For real, Scorpions. I mean, I just answered this about an hour and a half ago at uh, Starbucks. It's you Scorpions. Mean modern band? <laughs> modern you mean modern band? Band? No, no, they're talking about a band that was heavy, it's always been heavy metal and still staying true to the roots and kicking butt. Is this. that what you're asking? No, is there any band out there that's, that's yeah. rocking right now? That's the, yeah. That you, that you can think of off, off the top of your oh, head. I would. It would be a steel. If we weren't here, then it, I would go see a Steel Panther cover band. 
People are That's asking actually answer. about bands supporting you on uh, tour of UK. Who? Any special guests at the gigs? There's going to be lots of special guests. Uh, we, we, if we told you, then everybody would They wouldn't would be special. Come, right? well, there, actually, there's nobody lined up to come, but we're, you know, if you're famous and you want to jam with us, come because it will give us more publicity. No, he's not talking about That's jamming with us. It's opening. Mean? The Siren Girls are opening. The oh, Siren yeah, the Siren Girls are opening. And, and, and trust me, out. we've tested them all. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. They work perfect. Oh, You'll be stoked. It's a Siren. That but awesome. uh, we've we've had a DJ open up for us before, and now we decided to have girls do it because one time a curtain opened up for us. <laughs> the, the deal is we don't want another band in front of us because they could be better than us, and it would just make us look bad. Right? Why take a chance? You know, mm, never take no, that chance. No um, talking about touring, uh, getting a lot of international uh, <clears throat> typers and watchers are on the on the live chat. Will you ever play in Germany and Latin America? Uh, yes. Yes. We will. Actually, this summer we've got a lot of uh, festivals lined up in Europe. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh -huh. Germany, Denmark, places like that? Exactly. Finland, Sweden, Denmark, Belgium, mm. Italy. Russia. Uh, where else? Not mm. Russia yet. Daytona. We're coming back to UK and doing some other things. Who's over to Japan and hit the Great Wall? We gone over to the I Wall. Wanna go, I want to go to the North Pole. Yeah, I want to play I'll there. You, you, you don't have to go far to see the North Pole, buddy. <laughs> Next question. Okay, Pop It asks, Oh my God. <laughs> what song do you play to get a girl in the mood? You guys should know. You should be experts at this. Well, actually, the best song to play for a girl to get her in the mood by Steel Panther would be Community Property. Because not only does it put them in their place as far as a relationship is concerned, it also lets them know that you're being honest with them. Mm -hmm. and, and when chicks feel like you're being straight with them, they really warm up to that. They appreciate it so much. You can get away with so much more stuff when you're honest. You, you can have sex with their best friend when you're honest with them. When, you th when they think that you're being honest, that's when you can really start yeah. to lie. It's amazing. But you got to start out by telling the truth. That's what really grabs them. Be honest them. about no. lying at first. What you need to do is be honest and, and, and tell them that you're going to be honest, but then just lie the whole time. Right, but don't get caught and remember... If you do get caught, don't get caught. Lie about it. Yeah. Yes, if, don't if ever, you, if don't you get ever caught, be honest. If you get caught, just refer to the song Community Property right. and it gets you off and you get a whole fresh start. You go, if, see? If you, start, if, you, if you get caught lying, don't... Even, I mean, don't ever back down. Yeah, don't, don't ever. Lie. You ever hear the phrase, deny till you die? Yeah, even if there's a, like, video and pictures and everything of you, just say it's not you. It's not, yeah. that is not me. That's like not right me. Like right now, watch, I'll do it Watch right this, now. check it out. Exactly. Not me. This isn't me. That ain't me. I believe him. I'm not even here. This I, isn't me. I believe you. Because you're, you're so This is not me. Lying. I'm not even here. I would say community property is probably the here. best song to pick up on a chick with. Um, are you guys making a new album? Because a lot of people are asking. Stop touching me. Yes, we Stop are going to. We are your gonna mic's be, uh, touching your. We're thing. officially uh, picked up to for, to do a second record. Nice. Yes. Officially, that is the official official word. We're going to be doing a second record. Now we're officially picked up by the label, saying verbally that they're going to let us give us the budget to go record another record. However, However, we still haven't got the money yet. But we don't and get the money until we start recording. Yeah, but that's bullshit because what's going to happen is we're going to record that stuff and they're going to drop us and then we're going to be held. No, they're not. And seeing as how I don't it took us about them. 27 years to record the first album, we really need to start writing some songs <laughs> for that second record because it's... You're going to need them. Not, we don't have a whole lot of I can write words right now if I wanted to. Really it's go easy. For it. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Live. Heavy metal's coming back, so get in line. Take off your clothes and... Do some stuff, yeah. Everything like, will be just fine. And everything will be just fine. That was a collaboration. That's how we write the first, as a band. the first song on the record. So Did come on, come on, come on. That's the chorus. Come on, come on, come on. Give me a harmony, let's do a chorus. Come on, come on, come on. One more time. Show your vagina. There you go. Yeah. Wow. That's the hook. Solid. Come on, come on, come on! And show your vagina. There you go. Tonight. You write the like little come on, come on, little things that are kind of like meaningless, and then I'll come in, I'll come in with a hook. Right. You know what I mean? And that's where I just grab it. Hook, hook that right. vagina. Yeah. He's like a fisherman in a heavy like metal pussy. Spirit like a whale. Have you ever seen that movie Monsters Ooh. Inc.? She's totally. Mike Wisnowski. <laughs> Old one eye. <laughs> <laughs> like you, the camera. No. 
Um, right, I'm gonna, we're going to do three more questions. Okay. Rapid we, fire! Uh, Woo! Bring it on! Just three more. Uh, okay. MMC asks, how did you land the record deal that made your breakthrough? Oh, I got it. I got it. Okay, go. Okay, you answer it. We got signed. No. No, how did tell you do tell it? the how story you quickly. You do that? No. What's the secret? Remember? Oh, well, the Everybody wants the no secret. secret. There's there's secret. There is there's a secret. There's no secret. The, no, no. The secret is you gotta be. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Don't tell him. I don't want to tell him that secret. No, no, no. Hey, don't ever tell him. Hold on. Here, here, here's Stop. one. Here's Stop. the answer. It happened overnight. We okay. out of nowhere we got this deal, Listen, and boom. The bottom line is, Fred, if we told you the secret, Everybody would go out and get signed, right? right? And then the market would be flooded with bitches. And, and our demands. stock would go down. Our stock would go down. We'd probably get dropped. Right. And you'd be here instead of us. Right. right. What's going to happen then? We're, we're going to lose our job just because we're going to divulge the secret to dozens of people watching us on my I'll tell you the secret. We have to get down on our knees and unzip their Stop heads. <laughs> That's not the secret, okay? Don't do that. If you do that, you're just going to wind up like our bass player. Lonely. Uh, Vin, Lexi, um, Lexi Vin's got a question for you. He says, where did you get your leather pants? From a cow. <laughs> From a cow. <laughs> Those aren't leather. There's though. no conduit there between No, the that, that's synthetic pleather, it's called. Yeah. It's four-way not... stretch, which is very good because he can I... move anyway. Yeah. And they can pleather a woman. <laughs> pleather, <laughs> eat thrums with pleasure. Yeah. But actually, we have a, a, a designer. Her name is Karen... <laughs> Yeah. Dowsenberry. Dowsenberry. This is still some hair from the cow. Yeah. Uh, actually, uh, he was. This was designed by a, a chick that he sees on a regular basis. It's just a hair from the cow. When, he, when he sees her, it's in the. <laughs> <laughs> His legs too. Yeah, my leg was designed by Karen Dowsenberry. Look her up online. Um, Dieter von T's hot or not? Hot. Who? Wait, who? Dita Von T's, Amy's asking Dita Von T's. She's hot. hot. She's hot. Who's, Who's Dita? That? Trust me, she's a chick who dances hot. around in a giant champagne glass with bubbles all over. Oh, hot. She's hot. Oh, that's hot. hot. That's hot. Well, that just I don't care hot. how big she is. When you, she's, she's, she's a fine, fine. When fine, you fine. put alcohol and vagina in the same room, that's a good mix. Or vagina hall. Put alcohol, <laughs> put alcohol in a vagina, that's even better. That's even better. Yes. Shake it. And it, yeah, it ferments a little bit more, and the, the whole bottle potency becomes. And good. I, I know that we are a little crass, and we may be. You are, you are yes. No, we, we are, and we're no, dirty. Really, you and are. And you know what? But what we're talking about is stuff that you think about all the time, and you may not talk about it because it's not appropriate. Appropriate. But you know what? That's what we're here for. We're here to bring out the little bit of heavy metal that's in everybody, and a lot of people don't even know they have it in them. Yeah. So put alcohol in a vagina. <laughs> yeah. That's really what we're trying to say. That's the overall message of the yeah, web chat. Yeah. Just drip a little bit of alcohol in the vagina. And remember, Steel Panther is bringing heavy metal back one show at a time. Go so buy our record. It's called... It's Feel called the Steel. Feel the Steel. And steel come to our, and come to our shows because we're playing out here. And um, we also want to thank MySpace for just having us yeah. on and, and being supportive to heavy metal because, you know, if it yeah. wasn't for you guys supporting heavy metal, we wouldn't be able to bang as many bitches as we do. That's right. And I would like to thank the guy who wrote my mom and had me nine months later back in 1960. Really not. You Why would you say that? Because he, might be, out. he, might, be he might be out there. He just got them watching the movie Precious, so he's a little confused. Yeah. He thinks he's that black girl. I'm yeah. I don't think that. Yeah, you do. I know. I'm wearing black. That's all. And you're not pregnant. Yeah, and you're not a teenager, so why don't we thank you? Can we wrap this up, or you want to have another yeah, question? Yeah, that's it. Thanks for everybody for watching. Hey, thanks let's for thank Steel Path for coming in. What a best interview ever.